how you guys doing today welcome back to the channel so here we have i don't know if you guys could tell what this is yet can you guys tell what this is can you tell what this is yet all right so those of you that are new to the channel this is a tamiya tgsr version the r version for racing baby or i don't know what it stands for but we're gonna say it's for racing and uh if you don't know already if you're not subscribed you probably don't know but i'm gonna tell you right now this is my second to me a tgsr which uh this seems to be one of the rarest rc cars to find so i kind of paid a pretty penny for this car um, this is my other TGSR over here, which is the exact same chassis, just a different body cover. And, uh, I have the original box and instructions and remote and everything for that car. Um, so let's get back onto topic, which is this car. Um, so I bought this car because these rarely, rarely ever come up for sale. Like they almost never, ever, ever ever come up for sale you can't find these for sale anywhere so that was my reason for buying this car so um and the other reason i bought this car is is because the chassis underneath is if you don't know already uh, I, I had one of these as my first hobby grade rc car so um it's kind of <clears throat> the sentimental kind of value to me because uh you know, I had one of these when it was uh, brand new back in 2004, guys. I had one of these brand new um, back then. And this is how much it was. And I believe I paid the same amount as is on this box for the one I had back in the day. Now, I did uh, take this out of the shipping box uh, before the video because I was actually going to do a little streamy. But then I decided uh, I'm just going to do... A video um i actually was gonna do the stream but i'm kind of tired so i'm just gonna do a video showing you guys this awesome car don't know what time the video is gonna come out because i'm gonna try to post it as soon as i'm finished with it so uh you guys will see it as soon as it's up um anyways guys uh this is what we have in the box i kind of unpackaged it a little bit before started the video because my daughter really wanted to see this car before i started doing any videos or anything and you make your kids happy and you do what they ask you to do guys so um i did open it up a little bit before we uh got out here but uh the car is still partially packaged i have not looked at the rest of the car so um when i did open the shipping box that it came in this is what I found in the shipping box. Thanks for the purchase for the RC car. And it's signed. So I'm going to keep that because that's pretty uh, pretty cool. The person threw that uh, their signature in with the car. They must have had some kind of attachment to it. Uh, the reason I'm saying they had some kind of attachment to it is because they were not asking uh, a small amount for this car. I paid 300 for that to me, a TGSR, with... Uh, the original box which this has um if you're gonna find one of these try to get the box with it um now the other thing is uh these rarely ever 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 come up for sale so uh, when i saw this one up for sale it was up on ebay it was up for auction on ebay and um pretty much they don't ever show up for sale so i was like let me see what this guy's asking because I just stumbled across it when I was looking for, uh, actually, I was looking for some engine pieces, and I stumbled across the listing. So I will show you guys how much I paid for this thing. Um, all right, that's how much I paid for it, right there. Okay, I'll show you up here. Tamiya, okay. Delivered today. Okay, so... Uh, paid a small fortune some might would say for this car but i will challenge you to go find another one because as far as i know i'm like one of the only uh main like youtube channels that has one of these 
uh, nitro ones because these are like uh, unobtainium. Take a look at that, guys. Unobtainium right here. Unobtainium. I don't want to say you can't find another one because, of course, there's some out there somewhere. Somebody has some. But uh, pretty hard to find nitro right here, guys. Pretty, pretty hard to find. And I would argue even harder to find. I don't know if you guys seen the wheels that are on the box. Even harder to find with these OZ racing. Just like in Gran Turismo, the OZ racing wheels, guys. Just like in freaking Gran Turismo. So I'm super, super pumped to have this car in my collection. Extremely, extremely happy to have this car in my collection. So I did not unpackage any any of the remote or anything i did not even take the body shell cover let me show you how well this guy packaged this car check out how well this guy packaged this car very nice so i started driving my shelf queen as a daily <clears throat> kind of started driving it all the time so i had to buy another shelf queen what do you guys think 685 for this um paid 685 out the door with shipping taxes and everything it was $5.95 <clears throat> to enter. Just for the first bid was $5.95. I didn't bid against anyone. No one else bid on it. And I thought the guy might have been trolling me, kind of. Because I had said something about um, if there's any of these, anybody's trying to sell, you know, let me know. And nobody let me know anything, but one showed up on the marketplace and the guy was asking... You know, five ninety five, and he was probably thinking, you know, nobody's gonna buy it, and uh, I called your bluff, but he had bought it. So, don't troll me, all right? If you're trying to troll me by selling one of these, I'm gonna buy it, all right? Most likely, maybe. At this point, I'm not buying anything anymore for a little while because just acquired this. Uh, first, I acquired this which I can show you in my eBay how much I paid for that puppy. So I just acquired the Sen, which I have not driven. Okay, I'll show you the Sen over here. Just acquired the Sen, which I have not uh, driven. <clears throat> and I paid 377 for that. And then I bought this just a couple days later because the auction was gonna end so I bought this um, because the auction was going to end. I, <coughs> I had messaged the seller and asked the seller if it was going to go back up for auction. If uh, if the auction, if nobody bid on the auction because he was asking so much money. I was like thinking, you know, if nobody bids on this, <coughs> is it just going to disappear into somebody's collection, you know, and never be seen again? And... Um, I was started thinking, I was like, man, you know, I had, there was a couple other ones that had come up on, uh, for sale over the last year and they were quite expensive also, but once the auction ended or whatever kind of listing they made ended, they never came back up for sale. So I, oh, I felt stupid two times. I felt stupid for not buying it when it was for sale. So I came to the determination that uh, I wasn't going to let that happen again. You know what I'm saying, guys? I'm not going to let that happen again. And if the guy was trolling me because he watches my channel or something, because maybe the, I'm going to take this box and set it to the side for now. Very nice. Awesome. Not mint, but extremely, extremely good condition box. Put this over here. So... Uh, we can take a look and see what we have here. <clears throat> now, I am hoping that the guy was asking so much money for this because it's in good condition. So, uh, I'm just hoping, you know, we didn't buy something that's going to need a bunch of work. Because when I bought the red one, the red one was listed as in awesome running condition so and so blah 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 and uh it wasn't in awesome running condition as, as you guys found out how much work 
I had to put into that red car. If you guys been watching me work on that red car since I bought it, you would know that uh, it's been a, a long road uh, to get it to the point where it is today. So, uh, before we check anything, I think I should check the compression because uh, this is an ABN style motor and uh, I'm lifting the car off the ground right away. Immediately, um, I think we got to, nope, we might not have one in winter chicken dinner. I'll tell you that, boy. This has not been running a while. I will tell you that much because the engine is turning over, but it's totally nitroed up. Like it's totally uh, gummed up with nitro. Let's take a look. She's used that red one over there. This is my other TGSR, which underneath this car and this car, exactly the same. But you know what? Never can have too much of a good thing. So um, anyways, uh, this engine here is not locked but it is on the brink of being locked. And if you guys in the hobby uh, know what I mean by that, because uh, it is totally gummed up to the point that uh, it's gonna need some heat in it just to get it to fire off. So uh, yeah, guys, we got two super rare Super duper rare. Come up with one of these, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, now, the going rate for these are about 700 bucks now because I just paid almost seven. So I figured even though I paid almost 700 bucks for this, I actually increased the value of the one I have because now that's the going rate. That's what these are exchanging hands for. That's what's the asking price of the ones, the ones I saw for sale online were like 1600, 1700. The ones that were for sale over the last year. So paying seven, um, I increased the value of the one I paid three for by $400. That's my opinion. You know, you don't, if you don't want to pay for it, then you don't have it in your collection. How about that? That's how it works, guys. <laughs> if you don't want to pay for premium uh, rare items, then you don't get no premium rare items, okay? So, I mean, I got two of them now. So now I have two Tamiya TGSRs, two RS4s, a Sen CT4S. Um, my aunt, I told you guys I was an on-road fanatic. So this is what happens when you're an on-road fanatic. Can't get over the condition of these OZ racing wheels, man. These are freaking really, really, really freaking nice condition wheels, man. I'm telling you guys, these are top of the line condition. So I'm trying to see what the next step was going to be. Because I was kind of thinking that this thing was in like uh, top condition, to be honest with you, for uh, paying almost $700, uh, which is pretty close to a grand, which if you figure it out, I bought this, I bought the freaking Sen for $377, this for $685, and now I'm paying $300 for uh, the, the Baja, <clears throat> you could pretty much say I spent my fair share of the uh, money this month. So let's try to take a break, okay, on the buying nitros for a while. We got a lot of stuff we have to run now, okay, guys? All right, stop making me buy nitros, okay? You know, I'm just messing around. You know, I'm just messing around, guys. So I don't know if I can make this engine heater. Yeah, I can make this engine heater small enough to um to try to i'm gonna try to heat this up with this engine heater that's what i'm gonna try to do guys because i believe that that is the best route um i don't want to heat this up with any kind of torch this is i paid 700 dollars for this you want me to sit here with a heat gun and heat this freaking thing up and you can't you can't even get another one of them so you guys want to heat your stuff up with the giant heat gun uh for removing wallpaper 
that's okay. I mean, not knocking nobody. I know professional racers probably do that, but uh, it's not for me, okay? My stuff is super rare and uh, only going up in value. So um, if you find another one of these for cheap, I would say buy it or uh, send it my way, okay? If you find another one of these for cheap, send it my way, all right? Because I just paid a premium for this one. So now you guys know what these are worth. How about that, all right? So now these are worth uh, about 700 bucks. So if you figure I got two of them, got $1,400 in nitros in just two cars. How about that? How about them apples, guys? <coughs> you guys know I'm just messing around right now, but I might not be messing around because I ain't going to let mine go for, for free. So I might not never let mine go. How about that? Find another one. Find another one of these for sale. Find a Tamiya TGSR for sale. Like you find every other brand, every other car there is for sale. Find one of these for sale, okay? If you do and you don't want it, send it my way, all right? Because you know what's going to happen, all right? Don't try to troll me and uh, post a car up for $700 and... Uh, Think so? Oh, I post this up for seven hundred dollars. Nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna buy it. Well, where is it now? Where is it now? Huh? It's on my table. So, there you go, guys. There you go. I said I don't know if the guy watches YouTube or anything. I have no clue. You know, all I know is it was for sale and. Uh, I wanted it. It had the original box. And I got two original boxes, two original controllers. The radio system for the red one was fine. I just took it out because I didn't want to crash it. But um, I might put it back in for originality. You know what I'm saying? Look at this, guys. You know the guy was happy that I bought this. And it went to a good home. Look at it. Sitting on a nitro shed bench. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the tread on these wheels, guys. Not worn out at all like i said she's got a couple little scrapes and that one was actually in better condition till i started driving it to be honest with you so that's okay because uh we got two of them now we got two of them two super rare nitros that you can't get anyway you can't get this right now there's none for sale there's none for sale sorry come back later all right that's what happens if you don't buy it when it's for sale then uh, you come back later and there's, it's not for sale no more. You know what I'm saying? It's gone. When you got the money for it, it's gone. So, you know, you only go around once. You're going to, you're going to wait till uh, every deal has gone when you show up or you're going to, you're going to make a deal when it happens. You got to be ready to make a deal. You know what I'm saying? Let's make a deal. We got compression, but this thing is, uh. Doesn't feel too good, I'll tell you that much. We got compression, but we got sludge like a I don't know. I gotta I'm gonna have to hook the big battery up to this. I got this got this little dinky three thousand going on here. Let's get this three thousand out of the way. Get that three thousand get the hell out of here. How about that? Get the hell out of here with that. Alright. So get the hell out of here with the three thousand. We're going right to sixty five hundred 120 C discharge rate. We're gonna nuclear meltdown this freaking thing right now. That's what we're trying to do. If I could get this thing to freaking spin over good enough. Oh, there's batteries in it. Did you hear that? There was batteries in there. Look, watch, I'll turn the wheels. Well, it made a noise the first time I turned it on. It made a noise the first time I turned it on. Let's get some of this uh in the meantime that I'm heating this up. I'm gonna take this, uh, look at this, it's even got the original cardboard inserts that the wheels sit inside of and everything. Look at this, where are you gonna see this, huh? Where are you gonna see this at? So, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the, uh, the super duper rare nitros, the top dollar super duper rares. You know what I'm saying, guys? Ooh, we got goodies. All right, so let me slide this back into the box. And we do have original body pins with this. 
because uh, I can tell you right now that these body pins are definitely original because they're the same body pins that the body sits on and that's the same body pins that are underneath the body in that one so that one doesn't have the original body pins this does have the original body pins as far as i'm um, as far as i'm concerned this is looking like it was bought and like put away oh man we got goodies i don't have a fuel bottle i don't have a fuel bottle all right didn't i can say i didn't have a fuel bottle and a glow igniter. That's my second glow igniter. I don't have any other glow igniters. This is my second glow igniter, guys. Let me get you guys up here so you guys can see what is going on here, guys. This is, like, incredible to me because uh, I don't have any of this stuff. I don't have a second glow igniter, and I have no fuel bottle. I have a fuel bottle now. This come with the freaking fuel bottle, guys. It's pretty awesome. I know it sounds pretty stupid that I'm excited about a fuel bottle, but I don't have one. Well, I literally use the jugs that the fuel comes in as the fuel bottles. So this is new to me. This is new to me, okay? My old fuel bottle um, broke and went bye-bye. So here you go. Looks like we got some come with extras. That's plastic. In the bag, where is Ziploc? Where is Ziploc plastic? Let's take a look. Well, in case you're wondering, if I have the original radio set for the other Tamiya, and it is in 100 working, 100% 100 working order. There's nothing wrong with this. I just took it out because, I don't know, I thought I had an extra 2.4 gigahertz uh, receiver laying around. I actually didn't want to hurt the value of the car, but I was like, you know what? I got an extra 2.4 laying around. Really don't want to wreck this thing. Let me just swap it out so I don't total out the car that's all i was trying to do not total out the freaking car guys i was trying not to total out the car right so leave me alone i ripped the original radio out so i didn't uh, crash the car i was planning on driving it all the time which is if you can't tell we've been driving it all the time so my stuff doesn't just sit there collecting dust. you know not what i bought it for so we have Original radio set with this. This has a number one crystal. The other one has. Let's check it out. Let's take it out. Number one and number two. Number one and number two. How about that? Number one and number two. Both original radio sets. Okay. Good enough. I wonder if it works. I thought I heard. Yeah, this is turning on. You guys can hear that. So let's for now. Let's take some batteries out. Of, uh, of this flash guy over here. Let's take the rechargeables. Oh, I already stole two for something. What the hell did I steal two for? I mean, what did I steal four of them for? Oh, no. I know what I did with them. This is the wrong radio. I got two flash guys now. Now I'm confused. Where's the other flash guy? What the hell did I do with the other flash guard radio? Oh, it's over here. Blending it. See this? You got too much, too many radios. Look at this. How many rechargeables do I need? All of them. How about that? Need all of them because I don't buy batteries all the time. So, you know what? Buy right. Buy it once. Buy it when it's for sale. How about that? That's what I'm going to say from now on. Buy it when it's for sale because... Last time I left one of these on the market, it wasn't even for sale no more. It didn't sell. It didn't sell, and it wasn't for sale no more. So, if you was trying to troll me, look at what happened. We got an engine sitting over here on boil mode. We might have some uh, luck here. We got this thing on rotisserie. We got the 6500 uh, milliamp uh, cooking that engine sitting there let's just boil it for a while all right let's, let's cook it till the battery's empty or something let's do something fun let's get it uh get it going get the juices flowing you know what i'm saying guys that's what you got to do sometimes sometimes you got to do stuff like this to get get your excitement back up because uh actually in reality i'm pretty excited right now 
because I got a freaking 2004 Tamiya TGSR with the original radio set. Look at that. Oh, why didn't you know? Why didn't you know it? With the original Tamiya uh, servos, just like are in my other one, why don't you know that uh, everything's working and the carburetor's locked? <laughs> there we go. That's all I can say is here we go, baby. Here we go. The carburetor is not moving. So first thing we got to do. First thing we got to do. Actually, let me turn the radio system back on. Because what I want to try to do. I want to try to use the radio system to get that to move. It's actually starting to move. Can you guys see that? It's actually freeing up as I'm sitting here using the radio. Watch this. See how it's not opening all the way? Now it is. Just did that on camera, guys. It just broke free because the heat from the engine soaking into the carb. We got this thing on freaking broil mode right here. So this has been sitting for years, guys. This thing's been sitting for freaking years, guys. This thing's been sitting for years. We got a locked up carburetor. You know it's been sitting for years. So I started taking the stuff out of the box and just totally got lost here. So this is, looks like a glow, uh, glow plug. This is actual Tamiya glow plug heater. So I got a real Tamiya glow plug igniter over here name brand to me a one but it doesn't have the original instructions which is okay because i have the original instructions already for the other one so all together i have two pretty pretty very 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 extremely complete out of the original box original radio tamias so that's just me all right so i like tamia all right if you like something else you like something else but i like Super duper rare cars that have been sitting around for a lot of years. And uh, just need a driver. That's all I need. Just need a driver. Look at this uh, zip tie. looks even original. I don't know if you guys can see how the zip tie looks. It's a different kind of looking zip tie. It's the only way I can explain it. All right. It's the only freaking way I can explain it. Okay, guys. So kind of excited here. Because now I got two of those cars that I get, that I see. Back when I started my channel, I was going, man, it'd be really nice to have one of those again. How about two of them? Would you like two of them? Is two of them good enough? Nah, we'll see. We'll see. You ain't setting your gold bar high enough yet. We'll see what happens here. Might want to replace this filter with a more modern, modern day, adequate version filter here. But for now... Just for startup purposes, we are going to, we are going to do this. And that is the original fuel lines. I can tell you that because my other, to me, it has the same kind of fuel lines, guys. Has the same kind of fuel lines. So I'm just trying to get this air filter back on here real quick before I tighten the zip tie down so tight that I can't get it. Ah. You guys ever do that? Try to push something down with your finger, fold your finger down all over backwards. Ah! Yeah, it's like something from a horror, horror movie. You guys know. You guys know that too well. Oh, yeah. Okay, we cut that this time. That's all right. That could stay like that for now. Let's see how this is working out. All right, the engine heater shut off. We got to get it back going. All right, it feels like starting to come around because... There's an old saying, and uh, not too many people nowadays seem to remember. So I'm going to remind you guys what the saying is, okay? You want to know the saying, or should I just keep it to myself? You know? Should I tell you guys what you should already know, or, or, or do you guys know? Because there's a saying I live by, right? And it's called, if it ain't broke... Don't fix it. So, if you can get this engine going without taking every screw out and totally, you know, taking a chance of, of breaking something, then don't do that. That's all I'm saying, guys. If you don't have to take the whole freaking car apart to pieces 
to get it going, then don't. You know what I mean? Because there's a chance you're going to break something else in the process of trying to investigate whatever you're trying to do or prove a point that you could dismantle the whole motor and put it back together. There's a chance you could hurt something. You know? And why take that chance all the time? Why constantly be, uh, you know, doing stuff like that? For me, I'm, I like keeping things simple, keeping things stupid. That's why I'm RTR. Everything I have is RTR, right in a box, RTR. If it didn't come from the factory like that, it could have, okay? So now, I'm going to fill this up with the plug in it so that uh, I look like an idiot and no fuel comes out. You know how it goes, guys. You know how it goes. So if you can't tell, I'm actually it's excited right now. I'm I'm legitimately uh excited to have a second one of my original nitros that I ever had in my life. Okay? So that's why it was worth if you're asking, this guy must be crazy. He paid six freaking eighty-five for that. Well, first of all, I'm gonna say my rational self is gonna say, go find another one, which you're not gonna find. Okay. And then my uh, my second thing I'm gonna say is, uh, you know, it, you get what you pay for. Okay. So you wanna. Go get a, uh, whatever you, you're into, go get whatever you're into. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, you can't find these. So, to me, 685 is, uh, is what it is. Because there's no more. You're not going to get another one. So, if you can't get another one, then uh, you really can't say nothing. Because you have nothing to compare it to. I have two examples of it. So, I have two of them. And you have none. Yeah, it's worth six eighty five to me because you don't have one. You understand what I'm saying, guys? You don't have one, then your op your opinion is nil, invalid. If you ain't got one, then uh, maybe you just ain't got six eighty five. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. Don't hate the don't kill the messenger. All right. I don't know what the hell's gonna happen here. I don't know if this is factory carb settings. I have no clue. <coughs> no idea. Let's see what happens, though. This doesn't have the upgraded cooling head, though. I'll tell you that much. I don't even know if, if any fuel went into the carb, to be honest with you. Because I really can't tell. I just can't tell, guys. I can't tell if anything went in there. There's fuel lines that are clear. But I can't tell if they're clogged or not. <laughs> I can't tell if the needles in the carb are clogged. You know what I'm saying? We're kind of shooting in the dark. Once again, I know I said that recently. So we're kind of shooting in the dark, guys. Let's try to fire this puppy up. Engine heater still cooking. Like, I don't know if this will ever run. You know what I mean? I don't know if this will ever run. But I could rebuild it. <coughs> if it don't run. So, I got to do something. I got to get got to get a fuel line on here. On here. And blow some air through. Ooh, that engine heater is cooking, boy. Yeah, open the car. And try to see if anything's going in. We got nothing. All right. So that's the problem. We got nothing going into the car. <clears throat> so how I'm going to fix that is uh, I'm going to spray whatever the hell I got laying around in there. I'm going to spray some of this somewhere. I don't know. We got to do something. Carburetor has not got nothing. Has nothing going into it. I want to take this fuel line off without breaking stuff. There's gelatin in the fuel line, so 
That is why nothing is moving, guys. So we gotta figure out how we're gonna get the jelly out of the fuel line. So that's what we're, that's what the next step is. That's what the next step is. Let's see if anything comes out of here. All right, so the jelly blew right out. The jelly came right out now, so the fuel tank is good. Problem we're having is carburetor. So what I'm gonna do is put this on here. I'm gonna put some spray lubricant WD, Dollar General WD-40 in here. All right, that's unclogged. How about that? One second, that took me one second. I didn't have to disassemble nothing. I took two fuel lines off. Took that fuel line off. This is primed now. This is airline ready to go. And uh, there's WD-40 in the engine. So now the engine is soaking down with WD-40. Now this carbon not that one to close. There it goes. So WD-40 is not going to hurt that carbon. We're going to soak that carbon with WD. Yeah, the engine's spinning over freer now because the WD is in the crankcase. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know if we have glow. Yeah, I don't think we have glowage on the glow plug for some reason. Because we're getting fuel. It feels like plenty of compression. Hopefully. Maybe she's flat. I don't know. Glow plug is loose. I don't know. Might not have no compression. I don't know. Freaking no. Guys. That's maybe why the guy would have sold it. Who the hell knows? We got good glowage. We got good glowage. So the glow plug was loose though. Was loose. Is this the right size glow plug? Is the question. Let me check. This is an N number four. Okay. You know what that is? You know what that is? That means somebody got cheap. Some moron. Some moron. I'm going to call him a fucking moron. Excuse my language, but that's a fucking stupidest motherfucker I've ever seen. Ever. Put an N number four in there. Now, you know why that kind of shit makes me mad is those those plugs don't work. Those plugs are junk. No good. Garbage. Garbage. Okay, don't buy an N number four freaking HSP plug and then put it in your nitro and sell it for $700. Just not very uh, smart, if you ask me. I'm trying to get this O-ring out of here. All right, so that's end number four. This is, you, sh you should, uh, I don't wanna say how I honestly feel, to be honest with you, because you might not like it. But, I'm going to show you this. So recently, I also bought a uh, shitload of uh, glow plugs. These are $10 a piece. How much is that? It's $70 sitting right there. Glow plugs. And this is the glow plug that's supposed to go in this car. So the end number four most likely stripped out the head on this uh, Tamiya here. To be honest with you. Because the thread pattern, the thread pitch is different than what it is supposed to be. And it also is also longer. The end number four is garbage. This is garbage. I don't care if it glows or not. It's never going in one of my nitros. Never ever, okay? I will blow them all up and uh, bury them in a hole before I let someone put one of those in one of these. Okay? How about that? Does that express how I'm feeling? About an end number four being in my nitro? Is that a... Uh, is the point getting across? Don't uh, put garbage in your in your stuff, and then uh, expect it to work good. So now this glow plug, of course, is fighting me. Keeps going back into the wrench instead of uh, 
staying out toward the front part where it's going to screw in. <coughs> so now I got to put, I got to do something. I don't know. This glow wrench is not uh, cooperating with me here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the glow wrench over here and start screwing it in with that. Because at least I know. See how I know it's tight now? There you go. If you can't, uh, can't do it one way, do it another way. So we got this engine on boil. It's still boiling. Look, it's still boiling. I guarantee you it's like 5,000 degrees right now. That's okay. We're just breaking it in. That's all we're doing. We're, we're preheating it to 5,000 degrees. We're like molten lava. How about that? That's what we're doing over here, guys. So let's see if anything happens now. Which I highly doubt. Let me give her a little more prime job. Maybe she ain't got enough nitro in there. See, nitro in there. Yeah. I don't know, guys. I don't know. It's not doing nothing yet. So, not a good sign. Not a good sign. I don't know if that, if these settings are all screwed up. Let me see. I'm going to just go off of, that was all the way in. So that's half, one, half, two, half. So that was like, somebody did the lean job on her. It wasn't letting, no nitro in whatsoever so we had no mixture how you like them apples boy just give it to me for a half hour and i'll get it running How about that? I, I know the factory carb settings by heart. I know the factory freaking carb settings by heart on this. Mm. Alright, so let's do some testing now. Take it off nuclear meltdown. Yeah, I preheated this to the freaking moon. So the trim is off. The servo needs to be moved in order to achieve a lower idle. The servo needs to be moved. It's at the lowest, the lowest trim setting right now. So I'm gonna shut it off. That's cool. At least I know if the batteries go dead, it'll just go to full throttle. Try to turn it down a little. There's another way to adjust this. we have we had low idle but the, the linkage needs to be adjusted it was too low
I think this may be a better runner than my other one. So this is maxed out. So uh, problem is we have to loosen this outside nut on here. There's a nut on the outside of the car, which we have to loosen and then move this linkage up a little bit so that we can uh, turn, we can get a further away adjustment to pull the throttle all the way. Do you hear that idle? I could barely hear it running. Listen to that, baby. Oh yeah, perfectly, perfect, perfect, perfect. Maybe I can get this to move. The problem is I don't want to break this. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that alone. I have to loosen this nut. I've done it on the other one already. You loosen this, this brass nut here, and then you move the linkage up a little bit, which moves it further away from this end, which will allow it to close all the way when this is in a closed position. Listen to that puppy purr, man. Listen to that. Holy smokes, guys. Let's take a look at it with the body on. Original. Original everything, guys. Trying to get this body on here. It's kind of kind of going to go through a certain way. How about them apples? How you guys like those apples? You got one of those? I didn't think so. You most likely, most likely, most people won't have this. But I got one. I got two. You got two? I got two. 2004 rally. Let's get the other one out. Let me let me move some of this junk out of the table up here. Look at that. Two of them. Look, 04. Rally 04. Rally 04. Look at that. Two big wing cars. Big wing. Look at that big wings. Look at the wing on that. That looks like the wing on my Civic. Look at this freaking scuba room. Look at this scuba room. Look at that idol. It's getting freaking perfect. Sounds like it's running better just sitting here. There you go. Almost locked up. Locked up carburetor. Um, all it needed was me. Oh yeah, this this thing is singing, man. This is better condition than that. So now, let me see. Hold on. What, what else I got that uh that you guys don't got? The only piston and sleeve in in the world for one of these that was for sale. I mean, a couple other ones sold. There's no more for sale. None of these for sale either. So I could technically make it like brand new. You got one of those? That was 80 bucks. 670, let's see. 70 bucks here. Screws here. Here, 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 here. You guys know what's going on. You know what time it is. Just try to hold the wheel. So the clutch is good. The clutch is good. It's probably been sitting for 20 years. Look at the tire tread. It's like brand new. OZ racing wheels. Where are you going to see OZ racing wheels on an RC car? Never seen that nowhere. Never seen that nowhere. Look at that. 
idle in a whole tank of fuel right out. That tank of fuel was full to the top. Take a look. Get you guys in here close. That tank of fuel was in full to the top. So what I have to do is loosen this and move this up a little. So that it's like up here when it's all the way close. You understand what I'm saying? So this arm is a little further back. Oh, look at that response. Not even that one. That one's not as good as this. This one's better, better uh, compression, I think. Let's try to lower the idle. Let's lower the idle. That thing's running like a super duper stupid idle. Oh man, this thing's freaking off the hook. Off the freaking hook, guys. Look at that. Whole engine just coming around. I want to let it run this whole tank of fuel out because it was all gummed up. You know what I'm saying? That's the point of having a nitro bench when an exhaust tube that runs outside. There you go. You buy your nitros, you get them on spec on the bench here, and you sit here checking them out. Throw away your end number fours and get yourself some uh, some real stuff, guys. Don't be don't be just throwing anything into your cars. Good thing is I have another head for this. It's in the box for this come with the original head so if it was stripped out I could have uh, just swapped the head out so I have two of these I have three heads three piston and sleeves technically two boxes two cars um, question is do you have one of these all right so I got the Tamiya PTSR baby we got that Tamiya. this thing genuinely got me ready to take it out and go for a rip now watch what happens when I, if i slip this back on it's gonna push the idle way up because this is too like too long kind of but you can only screw it in right up to where it's at if you screw it in any more than that it's gonna split this piece and this is gonna be no good so i'm just gonna have to loosen this nut up see how sensitive that is beautiful compression abn abn Two ABNs side by side once again. They were they were sitting in the store together back in 04 and I reunited them. Sitting in the store together back in 2004 once again side by side. Look, rally over here, rally over here. So rally number one over here, number three over here. <coughs> so we got two in the lineup. I don't know how many exactly. I could probably look it up. We'll do a video one day where we look up how many different... I know there's a few. There's probably 10 different ones. Um, but I don't know how many R versions there were. But we got two of them, so it doesn't matter. At least we got two. I'm out of space again. I'm out of space again, guys. There's no more room on the bench for this. I got to put these side by side. Two RS4s. Two of those. Ascend. What else could you need? What else could you freaking need, guys? Lower the idle again. What else could you ask for? Beautiful, beautiful condition, man. Original remote. Original servo. To me, a servo. That also has original servo. It's almost out of fuel. That's why the idle's going up. It's almost out of fuel. Look at that. Drank the whole tank right out. No problem. Soon as I put the high speed needle at factory settings, it came right to life. The high speed needle was screwed all the way in. So if you were trolling me, dude, I don't know. I don't know. Look at that. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say thank you. Thank you for the beautiful nitro. Alright? If you're watching this, you're wondering where your uh where your beautiful uh nitro is, it's over here. I kind of got to clean up the shed now. I got stuff all over the place again. So we got the Tamiya over here in the bench. Look at that. Drink that whole tank of fuel right out. Whole tank. Full tank. So we got to make sure we put this piston at bottom dead center when this is done. 
gonna let this finish idling. Just let this finish running out of fuel. That's it, that's all she broke. Look at that compression. Look at that compression, that's hot. That's hot compression. Oh man, oh shit. This is, uh, I'm gonna say guys, winner, winner, chicken dinner right here. Thing must have been sitting at bottom dead center the whole time it was in storage because the compression on this is uh top of the notch top of the line compression so i don't need that piston for this that one might need it compared to this this is like hot compression look hot compression test let's see your let's see your hot compression test guys all right that's the hot compression test for this one Put that at bottom dead center and uh, let her take a chill pill, guys. <coughs> so now we have two Tamiya TGSRs. This one is 100% completely original. This one, I looked at the box and these wheels are slightly different than the ones that come with that on the box. So that one just is missing the original wheels, but has every single paper and everything that come with it so let's put the cover back on this and then we'll take a look at these side by side real quick guys take a look at these side by side so tonight is tuesday night um i'm gonna release the video as soon as i'm done recording it it's probably gonna take hours and hours to upload but um i'm gonna upload it right away as soon as i'm done so i don't know what time it's gonna release but i have no control over like, I can schedule it to release at a certain time, but I'd rather have the, the stuff just come out as I'm doing it. Boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying, guys? Live action. That's what I'm talking about, right? So, you know, even though I'm not live, I technically am live. Everything I do is live, basically. I don't edit nothing, all right? So, live action, baby, all right? So, I'm going to put the body clips back in this. And we're gonna take a closer look at both of these beauties side by side and see how they look like. I'm gonna have to extend the bench or do something because uh, they're not gonna fit on the bench now. Now I definitely have too much stuff for the bench. Once again, which I was already pretty much running out of bench room to be honest with you before I bought this. So, okay, dun, dun, dun. let's put this over here now i run it without the air filter the whole time which is not good but it's it'll be all right it'll survive all right guys it'll survive all right so dun 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 put this down here for a second down here put this shit over here okay let me try to get these beauties side by side for a second i'm trying to put this filter where it's not going to get messed up all right so we got one and two all right this one doesn't have mirrors i just noticed does not have the actual mirrors like this one so here you go guys actually i want to do them like this i don't know i don't know what's the best way to uh pose these suckers but look at that shit. oh man excuse my language but uh that oh man check that out guys original freaking wheels everything completely 100 percent work in order now and uh it's 100 percent work in order so <coughs> was not a runner for 700 685 dollars you get a almost locked up engine so just keep that in mind guys i'm not even upset not even remotely upset extremely happy with the pinch that is left on that engine so let's do a front to back on these babies look at these freaking babies man look at this look at this stuff here look at that huh where are you gonna find two of these you know i almost barely ever had one now uh 
Look at that. So these are permanent fixes in the collection. Don't ever ask if these are ever for sale or anything. So never, never, never. Okay. Just understand that. Right. So part of the permanent collection here. Everything's part of the permanent collection here pretty much. Except for if I got a red cat or something. <laughs> you guys know what I mean by that. <coughs> so there you go, guys. Two completely almost completely besides the wheels but i like these wheels they look nice on there but a 100 percent completely original to me a tgsr with the original wheels so i don't want to go on and on and on for hours i can i have the box over here which i do want to go over the box with you and uh look at a few things um so I think we're going to have to do a separate video on that because this is kind of getting on the lengthy side now. I actually expected this to start right up at the box, seeing how much I paid for it. But that didn't happen, and that's okay. I'm very happy with it. I'm going to leave the guy a five-star uh, review on eBay because it had no description. It just said what it was, and it, it's, it is exactly what um, the guy said it was. So beautiful pinch excellent superb primo pinch on this so we have one that runs and another one that runs and uh and like i said i might put the original radio system back in this just to make it uh make a match you know what i'm saying guys make a match let me get the original remote out real quick i could go on and on and on about these all day long but um i know you guys will listen to but i might save the going over the box and the engine stuff and the engine specs and all of that for a live stream or something you know maybe we'll see play by ear how about that play by ear and uh this was me taking it easy so my last i think so the last big thing i'm gonna get for a little while because i kind of just showed you guys everything i've been buying so you know kind of been going overboard and uh i gotta chill out a little bit but when things only come around once in a while for sale you kind of got to jump on it or otherwise it's gone not for sale no more and nobody bought it so it's probably sitting in the collection somewhere so there you go guys my newest addition to the super duper superb collection we have going on here superb collection primo collection so uh, make sure you come back hit the subscribe button and i will see you guys on the next video if you're not subscribed you're missing out